Welcome to the first day of our new chemistry unit, uh, unit 9 on acids and bases. We'll have three days of class meetings, and then we'll have a test on the fourth day. Uh, so this is day one, and it's for Monday, April 27th. We've got four pages to work through here. Hopefully we can do that in about 10 minutes. Uh, what you'll find in this unit is we're going to mash up a... Uh, uh, some readings from the text, uh, a website that has some nice definitions, a FET simulation, some YouTube videos, um, and hopefully put together a coherent unit for you. So we start here with a, uh image from a website. And what I like about this website, it's linked in Classroom. I didn't do a good job of sourcing it here. But what I like about it, it's got some nice definitions. So today what we're considering is we're considering the definition of an acid so while this unit is called acids and bases, uh, today's focus is just on uh, acids and acidic solutions. And so in the definition that you see here, it says acids form acidic solutions in water. It seems like it might be redundant, but the acids themselves can be uh, solid in their molecules. And what happens is when you put them in water, um, these molecules uh, separate to form ions. So you produce a hydrogen ion, H+, which is what they're mentioning here, and then you have an anion as well. Uh, and so if your molecule, when dissolved in water, produces the H+, then we're calling it an acid. And their example here is HCl, a hy a hydrogen chloride. It's dissolved in water, and they're taking that HCl there, and they're showing that it forms the ions H plus and Cl minus. The AQ is there to remind us that it's dissolved in water. So next I've connected this. This is not an acid here, but I've connected it to a skill that you have. It says, let's talk about sodium chloride. Uh, and so we're going to do a similar skill. As this, I think this has got uh, four parts, A, B, C, D. We're going to do a similar skill with uh, molecules uh, that are acids that form acidic solutions but this is just an ionic compound. Is it an ionic compound? Yes. This is a question I asked you many times during an earlier unit, and we would say yes because it's uh, formed from a metal and a non-metal. And I'm going to be very crude in my notating, but it's a metal plus a non-metal with a sodium being the metal coming from the left side of the periodic table, and the chlorine, uh, the non-metal from the right side of the periodic table. Great, it's page one, and I think we're doing pretty well on time. Okay, so still considering this sodium chloride, keep in mind, this is just uh, background and connecting to an earlier skill that you had. So which is true about NaCl. Well, NaCl is an ionic compound. It's not discrete molecules. It's a solid, it's not discrete molecules. What it is, is that model we have in class is that blue, green, blue, green, blue, green. Um, and so as the solid, you've got those discrete ions that are attracted to each other. And when you put it in water, when you put a, a unit of sodium chloride in water, uh, it those ions separate. So they dissociate to form Na plus and Cl minus ions in the water. And so that's what this part C is here, where you would write a formula here, because we never put the charges in the formula. But you would demonstrate your understanding that that is an ionic compound by showing the two ions that um, that um, form that formula unit for the ionic compound. And then the last skill that we had practiced earlier this year was when we show this uh, formula unit of sodium chloride placed in water. So this is the top of the water here. And the student would draw an Na plus and a Cl minus and maybe slant them to make them look kind of random and moving around. But that's a formula unit of NaCl, of sodium chloride, placed in water. The ions dissociate and they move around in the water. But the skill you're going to be practicing is doing this for uh, acids that make acidic solutions. So just like, not to make you dizzy here, but on that website that's linked to Classroom, their favorite example was HCl, forming the ions H plus and Cl minus. And because H plus was formed, that's what made uh, HCl an acid, because it's when placed in water, an ion that forms is H plus. It's definitional to an acid. 
So the question that we could ask you that's like what you did earlier is, uh, hey, let's talk about uh, hydrogen chloride, HCl. And then is this an ionic compound? And, it's, and it is not. No, it's not a metal and a nonmetal. These are actually two nonmetals. I guess my answer here will be it's not a metal plus a nonmetal. Okay, so which statement is true about uh, solid HCl? So what we're seeing here is these are nonmetals. The hydrogen and the chlorine actually are covalently bonded in the solid in the uh, in the solid, so they share electrons. So in this case, we're recognizing that solid HCl exists as discrete molecules. Now, what's interesting is you then put these discrete molecules in water and it forms the ions, so that's that's unique to uh, acids. So it's not molecules dissolving in water and staying as molecules, and it's not ionic compounds dissolving in water to form separate ions. It's a molecule that, when placed in water, will form ions, one of them needing to be H+. So what the student does here is we're going to uh, take a look at HCl. And we're going to put uh, this molecule in water, and we're going to demonstrate our understanding that this is an acid by showing that when it's placed in water, we will generate an H plus and a Cl minus. And the generation of the uh, the formation of the H plus is what's definitional to it being an acid. Last page. Okay, here we're going to take the uh, hydrogen chloride molecule. Uh, I shouldn't say formula unit there. So that's the molecule of hydrogen chloride, and we're going to place it in the water, and we will form ions. And so the ions that we're going to form is very similar to what we showed over here, H plus and Cl minus. We're just going to draw them in the water now. So let's draw the H plus and the Cl minus here. Maybe slant them a little bit so they look like they're random and they're moving around because that's what particles do. Um, but now we've responded to putting uh, this acid in the water to make an acidic solution. Okay, lastly, associated with today, I'm going to have you read from the textbook. And lo and behold, they're using the same example. They're using the HCl again. And so what they're indicating here is, and they list some other acids as well, nitric acid and sulfuric acid. Uh, when these are placed in water, uh, virtually every molecule dissociates to give ions. Now, they go a little bit off track from what we're looking to do. They said this means when 100 molecules are dissolved in water, you get 100 H plus ions and 100 Cl minus ions. Um, I mean, that's good. That's, that's, that's good knowledge. I endorse that. Um, so no HCl molecules exist in aqueous solution. They've all dissociated into the ions. So they're drawing it here, right? So what I had you do earlier is I had you use the the chemistry notation for the ions. And here, they're showing you graphically that this is an HCl. I notice that they don't have the charges there, but once they put it in water, it separates into a hydrogen ion. This here is the hydrogen ion. And this one, I don't know if you can see the minus there, but that one there is supposed to represent the chloride ion. Um, and because the every molecule i'm getting a little bit ahead of where we want to be after just day one here but uh, uh hcl is an example of a strong acid because every molecule that goes in dissociates sometimes you have acids that they're molecules when they're solid and you put them in water but not every molecule dissociates to form h plus and an anion some of them do but not all of them and that's uh, definitional to what a weak acid is Okay, so that is a good introduction uh, for today. We're going to have you reading out of the book. We're going to have you do a very little bit with a FET simulation. And we're going to give you a practice set that has some of what we were doing uh, earlier here. So, um, and I, gosh, we're right under 10 minutes, so that's a good thing. Uh, thank you.